What's going on my dudes? My name is Jameson and today we are going to be playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, I've watched a couple YouTubers and a couple other people play this game and it seems uh pretty cool. So let's go ahead and start playing. We're going to start off with a new game and see what happens. Let's see, our name is going to be... Uh, la, 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 la. Let's just make it Jameson. Okay, so our name's just gonna be James. Hey, I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might be drawing to herself. That girl is Saori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for, for so long. We used to watch school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. <laughs> However, I just saw an idol in front of the crosswalk and let Saori catch up to me. Let's see, what voice should we give Saori? I'll see if I can make it pretty high pitched. I slept again, but I caught up to you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Jameson. Well, if people stare at you from acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, sorry. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Jameson, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Uh, that's not true. You told me you were doing a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively be... What the hell? How does English work? I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sorry likes to worry a little too much about me. When I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh hey. I was talking about how worried that you would won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. <laughs> <laughs> this goddamn voice I'm giving her. Oh shit. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I thought, I the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs that makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess. I, I promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is an ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pick up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sorry wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sorry. Sorry must have come into the classroom while I was facing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch up to you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. 
You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Oh, goddamn. <laughs> I don't know how long I can keep her voice up. Jesus. Well, that you could come to my club. Sorry. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. Eh, Mimi. Sorry is Vice President of Literature Club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she initiated the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I'd bring a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sari is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly followed Saori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Saori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member. Uh, I glance around the room. Let's see, girl one, what voice should we give her? I wonder if I should give her a real deep voice. Yeah, let's go with the real deep voice. Welcome to the Literary Club. It's a pleasure to meet you. Stories always says nice things about you. Girl two, let's see what kind of voice I should give her. Probably... Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Oh god, another one. Girl 3. Ah, Jameson. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Saori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Saori says that quite quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyways, this is Natsuki. I always try the energy. And this is Yay, the smiles in the club. Don't say things like that. Yori, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with the people like Sori and Natsuki. Uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Jameson. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, and athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely, it feels a little... You too, Monica. Come sit down, Jameson. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me and Monica. I'll get you the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sorry mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sorry. 
Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Saori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Oh, uh! Natsuki lifts a full off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Uh ha ha, well, you know. Just hurry and take one. So he grabs one first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious! Suri talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... I haven't heard this somewhere before. Made them for you or anything. Uh, I thought you technically did. Sorry, you said... Well, maybe. But not for you. You know, you, dummy. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know... I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow then smiles at me. So it made you consider the literature club? Um... I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by a Saori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Saori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it is m my duty to make sure the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member of any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of, of the debate club last year? Uh, well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity of how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great theater. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it in that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard and convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festivals that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why 
they were also delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So Jameson, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read the past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I muttered quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. No, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri? <laughs> Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed to be reserved and timid since that moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Uh, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that you, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you? I guess you could say that. But if the story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful and changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Uh, I hate horror. Oh, why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't say it out loud and give it back. Fine, fine. Hehehe, <laughs> you cookie, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sorry, sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet, huh? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share her hers. I guess it's the same for you, Yuri. Uh, I wanted to read everyone's poems! We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Yay, let's do it! Plus, 
now that we have a new member, I think help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Jameson? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Uh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I wanted to join this club. Sorry may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But... I'm sorry, I thought. <laughs> Jameson? You all... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poem is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls? Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. Sorry wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey. You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. That makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Alright guys, I think I'm gonna call it a night. If y'all want me to play more of the Doki Doki Club, it seems really cool. plan on making this a full playthrough. But if y'all like it, leave a like, give a thumbs up, hit the bell button, subscribe, comment really lets me really, <laughs> really lets me know if y'all like this content or not but anyway guys bye